We have Robin Crawford at the producer's chair. Charlie Carey is editing CityNews1130.com. Charmaine De Silva is our news director. It's 3.30. Vancouver's number one for breaking news, traffic, and weather. This is News 1130. Good afternoon. It's Sunday, June 6th. I'm Jonathan Seacrest. In Vancouver, it's mostly clouds out there. We're at 10 degrees, and unfortunately, we've got a very wet forecast coming up. Here's what's making news right now. Federal government will issue a travel exemption to the NHL so players in the last rounds of the Stanley Cup playoffs can cross the border without needing to quarantine. The Pope not addressing calls for him to apologize for atrocities at residential schools, but there were words of sorry during opening Sunday Mass from the Archbishop of Toronto. The BC Sick community stands in solidarity with the Indigenous community traveling from Abbotsford to Kamloops yesterday to show their support. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced the birth of their second child, their daughter born on Friday. There are 2,500 fans in the stands in Montreal and the Habs have already given them something to cheer about, taking an early lead over the Jets in Game 3. Sports at 45. And coming up in business, it is all about logistics, how the freight industry has accelerated e-commerce with last-mile shipping from the supplier to the consumer accelerating growth. It's 3.31. Let's head to the traffic center and William Cook. Yeah, I'm liking what I'm seeing here for the Sunday afternoon drive. Not the nicest day weather-wise, but as tends to be the case, not the nicest weather means not too much traffic out there. Major routes all moving rather well. Little bit of volume forming out of North Vancouver on the upper levels. Eastbound at the top of the cut from around Lonsdale through Lynn Valley. Bit of a slowdown there. Lionsgate, though, looking great. The Iron Workers itself moving well. Uh, we have some work in Vancouver, Broadway, Main Street, single lane, both directions on Broadway. Take 12th Avenue if you want to skip that. That's a bit tied up here. Looks like something on Granville southbound towards uh, Keen Edward. Uh, no camera there, but uh, yeah, you're seeing a tie-up backed up midway, almost close towards West 16th. Maybe take Oak Street to avoid any slowdowns there on uh, Granville. Any updates, love to hear from you. Uh, we'll head over to Delta. You have this work on Highway 17 eastbound at the 91 connector, right lane blocked off there, a bit of a slowdown along that stretch. Maybe jump off at 80th Street, use River Road to skip that slowdown. Any troubles for me today? Any updates? Hands-free phone call at star 1130. And traffic's brought to you by Pacific Blue Cross. New health plans for everybody with acceptance guaranteed starting from a dollar per day at pacificbluecross.ca. Take a look at the News 1130 Weather Center. Uh, cloud cover, some light showers this afternoon, our high at 13. we got showers through the evening, should ease up a little bit overnight, low at 9 degrees. And uh, it looks like a chance of showers with the clouds for our Monday morning, but sunny breaks in the afternoon, our high at 16. And we're currently at 12 degrees at the airport, same in the valley and downtown Vancouver with the cloud cover at 10 degrees. We have traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the ones. News 1130 time, 333. And our top story, American NHL teams entering Canada will not need to quarantine for two weeks. News 11.30 time, 3.39. Right now in downtown Vancouver, we're at 10 degrees. You're listening to News 11.30, Vancouver's breaking news, traffic and weather station. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have welcomed their second child. Markle gave birth to their healthy daughter on Friday morning in California. Number one for breaking news, traffic, and weather. This is News 1130. Ten degrees in Vancouver. Good afternoon, I'm Jonathan Seacrest. Here's what's making news right now. The federal government has approved a, a plan allowing NHL teams. It's 345. Time now for News 1130 Sports from Sportsnet 650, the home of the Canucks. Here's Justin Morissette. Thank you, Jonathan. Beginning on the ice, where the Montreal Canadiens have 2,500 adoring fans on hand in the Bell Centre for Game 3 against the Jets. And the Habs have already given the home crowd something to cheer about. Corey Perry's third goal of the playoffs. I'm Chris McCusker. The latest Industry Insights report from TransUnion Canada shows consumers are showing signs of resilience during the pandemic when it comes to credit. Matt Fabian is director. 
Listen three, four, or five times a day to stay connected with the latest breaking news, traffic, and weather. New is in the name after all. This is News 1130. Have questions? News 1130 gets answers, even when so much seems uncertain. Are we almost at the finish line? When will it be my turn to get vaccinated? Is this our new normal? Chances are, if you're wondering, so is someone else. Tell us what you want to know about at citynews1130.com slash answers. We're in this together. News 1130, working for you. News 1130 gets answers is presented by Surrey Board of Trade, a leader again in ensuring businesses are in the know.